Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lodge. My name is Joe and today we're back at it with another episode of Detroit Become Human. So in the last episode we actually played as the third character, Kara, and she was actually brought home by a guy named Todd who seems to have, yeah, a lot of problems. So let's go ahead and jump into the next part of the story, or stories so to speak. Uh, Todd had has a history of drug abuse it looks like and Kara was just cleaning up everything in the house and she had been gone for a few weeks because Todd claimed that she was hit by a car which it doesn't appear to be according to um, Alice the daughter the drawings that we found in the lockbox in her bedroom yeah so there are this is a uh, quite an awesome game so far I'm really enjoying it I'm hearing you guys are enjoying it as well also, it's still a very uh, widely popular game on the PlayStation. Alright, November 5th, 2038. No androids allowed. We're going to go in. <laughs> oh, and here come the looks. Find Lieutenant Anderson. What exactly are we scanning? Oh, scan faces. Okay. That's definitely not him. Uh, what about you? No face detected. Face turned away. What's your problem? Actually, can I... can scan you. You are... Give a DUI criminal record and you're in a bar. That makes a lot of sense. What about you? Gotcha. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. We'll go with understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Let's go with reason. I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. As he takes another sip. I'll make you a deal. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Nice. I get a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? All right, well, we got on Hank's good side, because he bought him a drink. <laughs> you wait here. I won't be wrong. Okay. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking man. 
Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Told me to wait in the car. Well, we're gonna get out of the car. Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. We just got here, stupid reporter. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? None of this. Contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The lieutenant had to pay his rent for the month, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Leader. Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Oh, stay Review inside. evidence. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? been here for three weeks? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Briefing concluded. Make yourself at home. Right, so there's ten pieces I'll of I'll be outside evidence. if you need me. Oh. Red ice. Okay, this guy was also a drug user. Review evidence, one out of ten. Okay. This officer's standing on... Okay, a knife. No fingerprints on the knife. Android involvement. Okay. Sample. Is he gonna taste it? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> Noted. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Okay, so... That is the murder victim, Carlos Ortiz. Let's keep going. Each letter is perfect. We have something right needles. here. More blood. Human rights like also this. going to belonging to Carlos Chris, Ortiz. Was this written in the victim's blood? Um, Not oh, wait, what's this? So. So. We're taking samples for analysis. Eden Club, come visit us. This guy was a potty animal. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Okay. Nothing in there. Um, is there. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it oh, done, Lieutenant. This just uh, flashed. More blood on the doorway. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. So it looks like signs of a struggle. Damaged chair on the ground. There's also a table flipped over. And we have a baseball bat on the floor. Traces of Ethereum. There's a dent in the back caused by a scuffle. It looks like we have fingerprints on the handle. Belonging to Carlos Ortiz. 
Alright, we can actually reconstruct this. Alright, there he is. Deviant took a knife. Oh, right there, the knife that's hanging on the wall. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Okay, so... Clear and obvious signs that, uh... An android and Carlos were both involved. That window's actually not even broken. So I don't even know if there's an actual escape route. What's keeping Wait, was there something else? He should have been there a half hour ago. He's on his way. It won't be long now. Oh, okay, we have a bathroom. Something in the shower? Oh, what the? Obsessive writing. Religious offering, question mark. Could be. Stuff uh, on the bottom of the shower all around the statue. Come on, guys. Like we have another Don't entire worry. room over here. Don't worry. No one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to. Never mind, that's the living room. Um I could have sworn there was another There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? Is there anything over here? Yeah, that's where I just was. Um... Now, there was... There is a backyard over here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna step out there. Uh... Oh, wait a minute, hold on, there's something here, too. Dried blood. Actually, the option to examine victim actually popped up. It didn't let me examine him before, but I think that was because the briefing was going on. And that's a three-week-old body, all right? All right, clues to analyze. There's red ice all over his mouth. Deceased more than 19 days ago. 28 stab wounds. What the heck? And that's Carlos Ortiz. You already know. Something, something on his hands. Fingerprints. Alright, let's go ahead and reconstruct this. Oh! Something on the floor. The victim fell here. Okay. That's pretty obvious. The victim was stabbed in this spa, which would explain that patch of blood on the floor. They came from the kitchen. Yeah, that's where the scuffle began. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Alright, we got everything. Alright, Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. 
in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. There's also where his fingerprints on it. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the yeah, because he grabbed the knife. To defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. The living room. God. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. All right, time to look for the Deviant, and Hank is now trusting us. Okay. Search for blue blood trade, which I see on the floor. Um, I see the trail continues this way. Um, then it goes over here. right on the door leading up to the attic. Okay. That's not telling us anything, but something else flashed over here. Oh! This mockings on the wall indicate that there was a ladder there at one point. Yeah, and the handprints on this door. Traces lead to the attic. Find something to climb. Okay. Um. I guess our only logical thing is we'll take the chair. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. You gotta trust me, Hank. Check something. Put it here. Place where nobody else has looked yet. Oh, there's a shadow. Search the attic. Well, looks like a shadow over here. That's a mannequin. All right, that's definitely not what we're looking for. All right, let's go further. Oh wait, I see more of uh, Ethereum. The trail goes this way. All oh, movement. We just saw movement. Yeah, 
Just now he moved over here. There you are. We got the deviant. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck oh is god, going on now I have to there? decide. It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, it didn't give me an option to pick. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. Come on! All right, trophy. We got a trophy. Deviant located. I wonder what would have happened if we were down here. Never would have found the Deviant. There's a lot, a lot of stuff here that, uh... We missed. I think ultimately right down here, though... If we didn't buy him a drink... We probably still would have moved on anyway, but had a sour relationship with him. Alright... There's a lot of stuff that could happen down here. So I'm guessing there were more traces of evidence that we were supposed to look for. Which I hope that doesn't affect us. But it looks like we had two possibilities. The Deviant, which we found him. He was right there. Or I have no idea what this bottom one is. Like, I don't know if the Deviant got away or if the Deviant attacked us instead. I have honestly no idea what could have happened. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was a good one. I liked it. Alright, back to Todd and Kara. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Alrighty guys, I think on that note I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. So thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Detroit Become Human here on Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Detroit Become Human here on Gotham Lounge. And you guys have a fantastic day.